Hi, my name is Paul Coburn and I'm from Milk Park Physiotherapy. Today what I want to demonstrate to you is a technique for monitoring your pain if you have one of the conditions that come under the heading of osteitis pubis. So often this is a condition that affects footballers or soccer players and results in them limiting their function and performance. One thing that they can do though is work out how much they should be training or how much they're exercising using a simple piece of equipment which is a, a pressure cuff. Now you can get these online, we've had a look, uh, if you have a look anywhere online it's just a simple pressure cuff that has a, um, a bulb and a dial that measures the pressure and something you can blow up. So what the athlete does with this piece of uh, equipment is that they test themselves after their main performance once a week and determines whether or not their pressure is being maintained at an acceptable level. And we normally say above 220 millimetres of mercury is enough, but the most important thing is that it's not deteriorating or not dropping off for you. So we'll get Brady to get into his position. So what he needs to do is bend up one leg so his, the bone on the inside of his ankle lines up with the inside of his knee and then he brings the other leg up alongside it and that way he can reproduce that position every time he does the activity. He takes the cuff and puts it between his knees in a place that's comfortable. He blows the bulb up to the reaches about 10 degrees 10, sorry, 10 millimetres of mercury. And then he squeezes as hard as he can with his knees and then relaxes. Now he repeats that as many times as he can until he reaches his maximum squeeze. It's usually about three or four goes that you're at your maximum. Once you start to drop off, that's, that's the end. And you're looking to see what your highest score is for a squeeze. So with this technique, uh, an athlete can, as I said previously, monitor their performance. And if they feel that they are dropping off, the first thing that you do is actually just back off your training. But if it's continuing, you should seek some uh, professional advice. And of course, we can help you here at Mill Park Physiotherapy. You can ring us on 94369666, or you can look us up on our website, millparkphysio.com.au. Thanks for helping out, Brady.